How to bandage a hand. We use our hands for almost everything we do, so having an injured appendage is, well, less than handy. Dress it now and you'll be able to handle most anything that comes your way. You will need a 2-3 to three inch wide bandage, binding clips or adhesive tape, optional, gauze. Step 1. If the hand is bleeding, clean and dress the wound before bandaging it. If the hand will be bandaged a long time, place rolled up gauze between the fingers to keep moisture from gathering between them. Step 2. With the victim's hand palm up in front of you, place the end of the bandage on the inside of the wrist and wrap it around the wrist twice. Step 3. Turn the victim's hand palm down and bring the bandage diagonally across the back of the hand so its upper edge passes just below the pinky nail. Step 4. Bring the bandage across the ring, middle, and index fingers, making sure to leave the fingertips exposed. Step 5. Bring the bandage diagonally across the palm of the hand toward the outside of the wrist, completing a figure 8 around the hand. Step 6. Repeat this figure 8 a few times, staggering the position of the bandage so it doesn't bunch up on each pass. Step 7. Use the binding clips found in the bandage packaging or apply a strip of adhesive tape to keep the bandage in place. Step 8. To make sure you haven't impaired the victim's circulation, squeeze the tip of a finger on the bandaged hand and gauge how long it takes for its color to return. If it takes longer than 3 seconds, undo the bandage and redo it with a little more slack. Did you know? Including the wrist, there are 27 bones in the hand.